focus on you. You see, many a times, the reason why we don't focus on ourselves is because we focus on others. Let me explain. We care so much about others. We love others so much. We put others' needs before ours. And many a times we're doing this under the guise of humility, under the guise of caring for my neighbor. But when we really get down to the bottom of it, it's because we don't love ourselves. And it's almost like we are imagining, and this is going to get deep, but stick with me. It's almost like we are imagining ourselves in the other person. Stick with me right here. We're imagining ourselves in the other person. And we are doing so much for the other person. Subconsciously thinking that we wish we we have the same level of love for ourselves, but we're projecting it on to others. But this is just shooting us in the foot. This is not helping us at all. My question to you is, why are you running away from taking care of yourselves? Why are you neglecting, focusing on you? For example, why do you, when you wake up in the morning, why do you not work out or go to the gym? Why do you not treat yourself with good food and nutrition. Why? You would give this advice to somebody else, but why don't you give it to you? Why don't you focus on you? And for a long time, you've been doing this. For a long time, you've been putting others' needs above yours. It's time you focus on you. Why are you so afraid of focusing 100% on you? Now I know you've got kids. I know you've got work responsibilities. I know you've got other obligations. But I need you to realize that if you are not the best version of yourself, you are giving a half ass version of yourself to your girlfriend, to your wife, to your kids. Your family wants to see you in the best shape of your life. Your family wants to see you in the best financial position of your life. Your family wants to see you in the best emotional and spiritual state of your life. Why? Because if you are financially prosperous, if you are physically elite shape, if you are mentally and spiritually in shape, they get the best version of you. But you are you are going under the guise of, ah, I can't work out because I've got to take care of, boom, boom, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. <sighs> nah. 
no, no. You are BSing yourself. You are BSing everyone. Stop BSing. Focus on you. Not in a selfish way, where you don't talk to anyone, where the rest of your life suffers because you're just focusing on you, but in a way where everyone knows, hey, he has to go to the gym at 7 o'clock. That's a no, non-negotiable, for example. Uh, dad, uh, for example, doesn't drink. Um, he, he doesn't eat crap on a daily basis. That's just not what dad does. Dad goes to the gym. You know, dad takes care of, of himself. If those standards are not in place, do you think anyone is going to respect you? The reason why people don't respect you is because you're not showing the highest level of respect for yourself, and that is focusing on you. When they think of you, they're going to think immediately, ah, you know what? Nah, he, he takes care of himself. Yeah, yeah, no, he, he, he really looks after himself, that guy, that man. Nah, he, 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 you know what I mean? It's not too late to change. Let this video be the catalyst where you start implementing, where you start putting putting in place those parameters of self-respect. Very easy. Start with saying, hey, I go to the gym at this time every day, or I just go, I go to the gym every day. That's a non-negotiable. Set non-negotiables for yourself. Right now, you've got no non-negotiables for yourself. And because of that, you lack respect from others. Focus on you. Stop BSing yourself. And see your life change. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And remember, like we always say, know that we are here not just to survive, we are here to thrive. And until next time, peace.